This video is brought to you by my ebook, Texting Women Like a Boss. The link is in the description. A couple of months ago, the world was rocked by a question that a street interview was asking ladies in his town. And it was one simple question involving a man, a bear, and a forest. Would you rather be stuck in a forest with a man or a bear? Oh, scary. You have a bear versus a man. Oh my gosh, a big monster with nails and claws. Arr! Which one are the ladies going to choose? Bear. Man is scary. I'm sorry, what? Um, with a bear. Well, I've heard about bears. They don't always attack you, right? Unless you like fuck with them. So maybe a bear. <laughs> you, you're kidding. They, they, they're choosing the bear. Prob depends what man, but probably a bear. 100% a bear, which is like terrifying to say, but. You've got to be kidding me. These women are choosing a bear over a man. What is going on? Definitely a bear. Some men are very scary out there. A bear. <laughs> okay, so obviously women across the internet and across the world were choosing the bear. But what I wanna talk about today, and the reason that I waited to talk about this is because I wanna talk about the aftermath of this. And more specifically, I wanna talk about why it is that women's stupid answer to this question is continuing to keep them single. Hi, I'm Harry Wilmington. I'm a dating coach for men. And today we're gonna to be talking about how this illogical fallacy of an answer for the question of man versus bear is actually harmful to women's dating lives. Now for the ladies watching this, I just wanna tell you all, I get it. I understand from having lived with women, growing up around women, talking to women, and dating women that women have some legitimate fears about men. We are taller, we are stronger, we can be unpredictable, and we can bring harm to you. So I am not going to dispute any of that stuff in what I'm talking about today. So on one hand, we have women that are coming out and using this man versus bear in the forest question to put out their grievances about men and how harmful they can be in many ways like this lady. I would like to comment on this bear situation because I was chased by a bear in the woods alone. Okay guys, so she's been through the ringer. She got chased by a bear. She's gonna tell us her story so we can be sympathetic towards what she went through and why it is that that encounter was better than meeting up with a man. Now this is a brown bear, not a black bear. This is a big bear and it starts running at me. And what you're supposed to do is what I did. I turned around, I threw my hands up. I started running back at it for three quick steps and I yelled, hey bear, at the top of my voice. Now, I will say, I did not know that that was the method for getting rid of bears, so thank you, lady, for letting me know that. That is equivalent to yelling no for a bear. It's letting you know you are not food. What did the bear do? The bear stopped. It stopped in its tracks. We stared at each other for about five seconds, and then you know what? The bear left. The bear left. So she's telling this story because she's hoping that guys that see this will understand that the encounter she had is that the bear listened to her and left her alone. And she may not in her head have been so fortunate of that happening if she had run across a strange man in the woods that meant to do her harm. But here's my question to women. What is the actual outcome that you wanna get and that you think you're going to get from answering the man versus bear question in this manner. Like, okay, you're thinking to yourself, if I use this situation as a way to let men know how scared we are of guys, then they'll know to be better men to us, I guess is what's supposed to be happening. But here's what women oftentimes don't understand about men, is that the majority of men, in their terms to try to get women, actually like women and actually are trying to do things that are going to endear women to us. We're looking for those instructions, right? So when women are sharing stories like this in reference to a bear, a hypothetical bear that they're not gonna actually come across and that doesn't exist, and using that as a way to try to berate men or tell them that, well, we're afraid of you and we're scared of you, you know what good men that actually care about you and have your interest at heart are going to do? They're going to listen to the surface argument that you are making and then make a determination that the best thing for them to do is to leave you alone. Now, you may be thinking, well, that's great. That means creepy guys aren't going to approach me. But here's the other problem 
on one side of the internet, we have the man versus bear answer where it's like unanimously the bear, right? But then on the other side, you have a wide set of women complaining that men don't do certain things anymore. We have women talking about how men don't wanna help them anymore. We have women complaining about the fact that men won't be chivalrous towards them anymore. As a woman, like you don't see men holding doors anymore. They don't help anymore. We have women out there complaining that men will not go to singles events to meet them. And these women are online, rightfully so, complaining, I can't get a guy. Why won't men approach me? Why can't I find men out there that wanna help me out? Why are good men trying to come to us good women? Could it be because for years, men have heard things like, women are afraid of us, women don't want us to approach them, women are worried about the things we're going to do. And this isn't to say that again, there aren't men out there that can't be harmful, right? But I'm just, again, I'm looking at Women using a fallacy argument to try to justify that anything in the world would be better than having a man around. And then they come out and say, why aren't there any men around? But I was struggling to bring my TV, well, fit it into my car. It was in a big box. It's a 55 inch. It could barely fit into this car. I'm sitting out here struggling to get this in my car. Men are walking back and forth. No one is trying to help me. Yeah, because again, we've heard all summer long that Women don't want strange men bothering them. Women are afraid that men they don't know are gonna be the boogeyman and suddenly try to harm them. And so even guys in the past that would have wanted to stop by and help this lady get stuff out of her car, help her take stuff up to her apartment, all we're thinking now is, is she gonna be freaked out if I come up to her and say, hey, I wanna help you? Is she gonna be worried that I'm trying to get up into her apartment under the guise of trying to help her? And so we just see all that and say, that juice is not worth the squeeze. I don't want those problems. And so I'm out. It took an older man to come and see me struggling. He came out and helped me take the TV out of the box. They don't make real men anymore. Like, I'm sorry, I'm not all men because there are good men out there but it's such a rare thing. It took an older man to do that. Well, the reality is that guy didn't grow up in a society where there was social media that was telling him that women are gonna be afraid of him for trying to help out women or trying to approach them or trying to just talk to them and say hi. And that is very much the world we live in today. Men are growing up in a society where they still wanna be good men, but we're being given parameters and being told things like, well, given the choice, I'd rather have a bear help me move my stuff because at least the bear won't don't do it under the false pretense of getting into my apartment to try to do things to me. This is what happens when you use an illogical argument to try to prove a point, is that you don't end up getting what you want. Instead, men are gonna listen, and then you're gonna be alone and not get help and not be treated chivalrously and not have the protection you want because you're telling us at large that we're scared. So you can, can you see that when women are answering the question of man versus bear as, well, I'd rather be around a bear because I can't trust men, would it be any wonder then that there wouldn't be men around? Because all men are trying to do, good men, mind you, that want women to feel safe, is when they hear, oh, we feel as though men are a lot more threatening than a bear, we're gonna say to ourselves, okay, she doesn't trust men. I don't want her to freak out, so therefore, you know what? I'm just not going to approach that woman over there. And here's the thing, women will hear that and they'll say, well, no, I want some men to approach me, I just don't want the creepy ones or the scary ones. And therein lies the rub. Because how are we as men supposed to know which one we're coming across as? For example, let's say we know women across the board want a guy that's like six feet tall or higher, right? So then you have a guy that's five, six, that's sitting there looking at you at a bar and looking and thinking he wants to approach, but he's not the right height. Maybe he's a little overweight. Maybe he doesn't have the right amount of money in his bank account. He might just be sitting there thinking, I want to approach. I want to talk to her. I want to at least go up and say hi. But guys have had the experience of going up to women and just saying, hey, how are you? And getting eyes rolled at, getting, uh, what are you doing over here? Get away from me. And so we just thought, okay, so she probably doesn't want us. And then throw one and say, oh, and by the way, women get freaked out by strange guys that they don't know, and, and so much so that they'd rather be with a strange bear that's a monstrous animal that they would probably lose in an encounter with over a man who might actually help them out the force. Like, women are saying, I'm more frightened of a man than a bear. And so that guy in the club's gonna see you as a 5'7", a little bit chubby, not a lot of money, and think to himself, you know what? I shouldn't approach her. Now you're thinking, okay, that's great. That, maybe I didn't want that guy 
that leaves the six foot and higher guy that's going to approach me, right? But then the six foot guy over there sitting and looking at you and thinking to himself, man, you know, I really want to approach her. She seems really, really cool. But the other night I tried to hang out at the club and I saw some ladies in a group and I went up to them to try to talk and they all like shut me down because yes, ladies, six feet and higher guys also get shut down. And so he's thinking, and now here's this new girl and I want to approach her, but again, you know, I'm a stranger. I'm not, I, I'm a, I, she doesn't know me that well. Maybe the things that I want to talk about aren't going to be to her liking. And so, you know what? It's better if I just stay over here. Or you know what? If she approaches me, it'll be totally fine. And we know how much you ladies love, love, love to approach men, which is you don't. So we're at a stalemate because you want guys to approach you because you're, you're tired of men not approaching you. You want to feel desired and whatever, but you want the right man to approach you. And the guys out there that maybe you're looking at, they don't know if they're the right guy. Okay, so I recently went to a singles event and it was 90% women. And I was wondering, like, where's all the dudes? Um, I don't know, but they're not there. And that's cool, not like I care. Yeah, of course, you don't care that there's no dudes at a single event. You don't mind the fact that most of the people that are there are women and that even though you're probably a straight woman, or at the very least you're going there hoping to get men, that no men are there or the few ones that are, you, either you're not gonna approach them and they're not gonna approach you. Like, you're, you're totally fine with that. But why aren't they going? It's not like I'm being hit up every day, every week, even every month with like people in my DMs or like messaging me on Snapchat trying to get with me. It's like no one hits me up. It's not even like I'm being selective with who I'm picking and like turning people away. It's just like people <laughs> aren't coming up to me. I don't. I don't understand. If women are making us feel as though we are scary and we are bad men and that they're afraid of all of us, our logical brains are saying, huh, how can I stop this? The easiest way is to just stop approaching. Now, again, I tell men on this show all the time, you need to be doing the due diligence of understanding women and learning what things best attract them, how to not come across as a creepy guy, how to learn lingo and conversation skills and dressing skills and all that stuff helps. But none of that takes away from the fact that at the end of the day, a guy is still not gonna know for sure if that woman over there is gonna find him creepy or not. Any guy that you don't know that you're saying, I wanna approach me, is a guy that you don't know that is a strange guy. We have just heard that women don't like when guys that they don't know, or even, hey, there are some where they say, you know, guys they do know, friends they've known for a long time, uncles, uh, brothers, etc., could also be harmful. We're hearing all of this, and then we're thinking, I don't wanna put myself in a situation where women are gonna be freaked out by me, and so therefore, I'm gonna stay my butt home and not freak these women out. Let me put it this way, okay? There was a woman that put out a video where she went through some, I, I believe some legitimate concerns about men, but I wanna play through what she said, and I'll stop along the way to give my commentary and s show you all how it is that these things result in women keeping themselves single. Let's watch. Are y'all realizing that myself and other women are saying bear because we would quite literally rather die? Okay, so what we hear as men is if it's a choice between being around a bear or being around a guy that you don't know, you would rather spend time with the bear than be around a new guy that you don't know because, and that you'd rather be unalived than being around the guy. Right? So a guy sees this on TikTok. And keep in mind, a lot of the guys watching this are young guys that maybe haven't dated a whole lot and are just coming into their own. And they're starting to learn about women and what their needs are. And the need we're hearing here is strange men freak me out to where I would rather die than be around one. All right? So that's what a guy's hearing and is thinking, oh crap, are, are, are we guys that bad? Are we freaking them out that much? Okay, I'll stay away. And then we have some people saying, well, not all bears, just because one bear did it doesn't mean that all bears would do it. You shouldn't be scared of all bears. Let's get a lineup of bears and you show me which one I should be fucking scared of. In this target right now, you point out to me which men I should and should not be fucking scared of. Well, I don't know. Exactly. Got it. So again, ladies, men, a man's going to hear this. He's going to hear that you're not able to tell which man is dangerous and which man is not, and therefore, you're gonna be scared of all of them. And a good guy or a guy that's just interested in you and, and wants to potentially walk up to you, hears this on social media and hears women around the world saying this. And what we take in is, okay, so 
she doesn't want strange men approaching her because she's not sure which one's gonna be scary or not. And even if I'm a guy that has good intentions and is not going to try to be scary, I'm not gonna be able to know for sure if what I'm doing is freaking her out or not. Chances are, she's probably not gonna say it outright. And so therefore, I'm going into a situation where there is potential for me to get harmed by other people because she may decide to call somebody over to handle me, you know, call the cops, this guy's harassing me. And we've seen this happen where a man is unintentionally walking up to a woman trying to like, you know, warn her about, you know, oh, you left the, the gas thing in your car and you drove off and stuff. And girls like, oh, get away from me, oh my God. So again, we hear this and say, you know what? She's right, guys, we, we, we're, not, we're not in women's worlds. We're not always aware of what we're doing. It's gonna be freaking them out. I can just be walking up to say hello, and maybe the way I say hello is similar to how some guy in her past like said hello and then tried to like unalive her. So you know what? I'm keeping my distance because she doesn't wanna be bothered. Another single woman, continue. At least a bear wouldn't fucking show videos and photos and dap up their buddies after. Ouch, now, now to be fair, that, that there have been cases where that has happened, okay? So it's not that she's not putting out viable information for guys to hear. The problem is the argument. She could very well just say, hey, sometimes guys freak me out because these things happen whereby a guy will do something or you know, he'll touch a woman in a certain way and then like tell his buddies about it and so that's a real concern. Guys will listen to that because at that point, you're telling a personal story. You saying, well, at least the bear wouldn't, you bringing the bear into the argument now makes guys not wanna listen. All right. So again, it's not that what you're saying could not potentially be true or hasn't happened. It's that the argument you're using as a means to try to get your point across is one that men aren't going to be, want to hear for long term. And I'll get to why that is towards the end here. At least a bear couldn't say the words, well, she liked it. She asked for it. A bear would probably leave you alone even after you were dead. To get most bears to leave you alone, all you have to do is scream loud enough. Can't say the same. Okay. So she's saying... In order to get a bear to leave her alone, she would she just need to scream loud. But if a man were to try to do something to her and she screamed, chances are he would not stop going after her, right? But, it, it, but ironically enough though, let's say they weren't in the forest. Let's say she was on the street and this guy ran into her and started doing stuff, right? She would be screaming, help, help. Who would she want help from? She would want help from other strange men that she doesn't know. Because at that point, she'd be about, well, I don't trust this guy, but I'm sure there's other guys around that are going to help me because of our social contract, all right? But again, even with that, men are learning, well, sometimes when I try to help women, they wanna sue me later because, you know, in, in the process of trying to save them, maybe I scratched them or had to touch them a certain way or whatever. And so, you know what? I'm not even gonna help women now with that because they've told me that apparently any, any kind of man that's trying to approach them, whether it's to help them or whatever, is going to be a bad man. I don't wanna be that guy, so I'm peacing out. At least a bear didn't pretend to be your friend for months beforehand just to get what it wanted in the end. Got it. So a guy's gonna hear this and say, okay, let's say I've been friends with Becky for like five months and around month three, I started to realize I had feelings for her and they started to develop and I wanted to spend a bit more time with her to make sure that those feelings were gonna be there long term. And then he decides he wants to approach her. Oh, but wait, 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 but wait. If you do that, that means that you were secretly plotting the entire time. You weren't really her true friend. You were just the guy that was trying to get to know her to try to get her in bed or in a relationship and therefore that's a bad thing. So now that means, okay, let's say a woman actually had a crush on a guy friend, but the friend was just a bit too nervous to step up to her. He can never approach her because per what she said, it's gonna make her feel like she was used, all right? So again, the things that this woman brought up in her argument, I don't disagree with the majority of them. But again, what is the intended outcome you plan to have? Because on one hand, we have women saying things like this, and then men are hearing this. And men that are trying to listen to women and actively make sure that they're doing things so that way women feel at peace with them, they're gonna see this and, and understand, ladies, We most men are on a surface level for these things. Like I study this stuff consistently so I can understand when a woman's saying, I feel that I'd be more safe around the bear, I can understand the argument she's actually trying to get to, but that's not gonna be the majority of men, including some of the men that you actually wanna get with because all they're gonna hear is that you feel that a bear, a forest animal, 
is more frightening than they are. And as much power as you think men have or that we potentially have, the reality is the majority of men don't exercise that power, don't know they have it, and actually feel beaten down. I know this because I coach a lot of men who come to me and are feeling that as though women have all the power. They're the ones that are choosing, they're the ones that are deciding if I'm right for them or not, they're the ones that wanna go ghost and have me up in a, in a feeling storm or whatever. Like, those are the stories I get. So most men, even if they have the potential, they are not thinking or feeling that they have that power. All they're trying to do is be a good guy and figure out ways to make you feel safe around them. And the message that they get from the answers you all are giving about the man versus bear thing is that you would rather not have men around. And as, as much as the man may wanna hook up with you and as much as the man may wanna approach you, the first thing that most good men are gonna do is do the thing that they feel they can do that's going to make you most feel safe. If the message they get is to stay away, that is going to be to your detriment. Because again, you ladies are the ones that are also complaining that men are no longer around and men don't wanna approach and men don't wanna be chivalrous and men don't wanna give up their seats for you on the train. These are things that you as women want. You want strange men that you do not know but that you find attractive to approach you. And many of those attractive men have heard this crap all summer and have decided I'm going my own way, I'm not gonna approach women, they clearly don't like men to really be around. Is it any wonder why you're still single? To end this off, I wanna bring home to you exactly what I've been talking about. So let's listen to this woman's question and then listen to what this guy had to say. I think it's very, very insightful. I genuinely like to know, single men, why are you don't pursue anymore? What's up? For me personally, I've been trained by women in my life and women online not to approach women, so I don't because I don't want to make them feel uncomfortable or scared. That's just the way I've been trained, and as a result, I pursue fewer women. That's what I'm trying to get women to understand. We are being trained by these apps, by women on YouTube and all these other various platforms that you all really fear men. But ask yourself the question, again, do you like being single? Do you like the fact that men are actually listening to you and not approaching you anymore? Like, unless you're legitimately trying to either date a bear or have a bear's kids, then you pumping this answer out on social media and then telling that to your guy friends and then telling that to other potential men that you know is not gonna do you any favors in the long run for you not being a single woman. So what is the actual solution here? Because on one hand, yes, Women, you want men to approach you, but you also want men to understand the hardships that you as women go through in dealing with men. And I think that is a very valid conversation to have. So here's what you need to understand. Men work on logic, surface logic. We hear a thing and we take it at surface at first. I know you want us to do a better job at doing a deep dive, but the reality is most men don't come up to that initially. We're all about, you tell me a thing and I do a thing. You give me a problem, I do a solution. And so men on a grand scale want to do right by you. But if you come to them with these illogical thought pieces and hypothetical arguments that don't make sense, we are going to stop listening to you. You can address your grievances with men in real ways that speak to your story and your experience with men that men will want to listen to, hear, and understand. Because at the end of the day, real talk ladies, we're trying to get some, we wanna do all the right things we can to make sure that we're able to do that as well as also get into relationships. But when you take a hypothetical situation and then you answer it in a way that defies logic of what you would actually do, at that point, men just feel like you don't want us as a whole and we'll either ignore you or just go our own way and say, you know what, if I stick to myself, then at least I won't be potentially frightening or scaring up other women. It's the only logical conclusion that men can come to against an answer to a question that is illogical and says to us essentially, we find men so dangerous, we'd rather not have you around. And if that's not what you actually want to happen, then maybe, just maybe, stop saying you choose the freaking bear. That's all I got for today. Let me know your guys' thoughts in the comments. How do you feel about the man versus bear question? Men, do you feel as though the illogical answer that women are giving are causing you to want to stay away from them? And for the women out there, how do you feel we should actually be viewing this question? I would love to hear your guys' thoughts. Thanks for watching. I'm Harry Wilmington, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. I'm out. Peace.